Hey guys, today I'm gonna to share with you my recipe for a one pot chicken and potatoes. I love this recipe because it makes for a great Sunday night dinner, especially if any of you are dealing with picky palates because who doesn't like chicken and potatoes, right? <laughs> it's a great comfort meal as we're heading into the fall months and it comes together pretty quickly and easily. Let me show you how to make it. One tip before you set out on this recipe, it's really helpful to have all of your ingredients measured out and ready to go. I mean, that's probably good advice for any recipe, but with this recipe, because everything goes pretty quickly, you will thank me later if everything's all pre-measured. And I even like to pre-measure out the sauce ingredients. So what I'll do is I'll measure the cup of chicken broth in a big Pyrex pitcher a quarter cup of a dry white wine, like Chardonnay would be great. Now, if you don't drink, you could just add a quarter cup more of the chicken broth, that would be fine. Two teaspoons of Dijon mustard and a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. And you can whisk that all up and now your sauce is ready to go. And you will be happy when it comes time to add that you don't want to measure out all that. And then for our chicken, we are gonna be working with bone-in, skin-on chicken thighs. And I really love this cut of meat because I find that it's the most flavorful part of the chicken, to be honest. And also, anytime that you're slow roasting chicken um, for a long amount of time, because we do wanna cook this for at least 40 minutes, that's what it's gonna to take to cook the potatoes. But if we use white meat, it would be so dried out by the time the potatoes were done that it wouldn't be so tasty. So that's why I'm using the chicken thighs. And then a small bowl, I like to mix in all the seasoning that we're going to flavor the chicken with. So you can add some salt, some pepper, and herbs to Provence, and just whisk that up. And really it's to taste, so however much you like, go ahead and add. And then we wanna heat a tablespoon of olive oil in the bottom of the pot. And then once it's hot, you wanna place those chicken thighs in, skin side down, and cook them in batches, so you don't wanna overcrowd them. So if they don't all fit in your pan, just do it in stages. And then you can flip once the skin is nice and golden brown. Then once all your chicken has been seared, you can transfer them to a clean plate. And then we're just gonna quickly cook our potatoes to give them a head start. So I'm gonna be using 12 ounces of the Dutch baby potatoes. And these are the smaller variety of Dutch babies. Sometimes they're called teensy potatoes. Also because they're smaller, they will cook at the same rate as the chicken. So everything will be done at the same time. So I like to cut them in half and then place them in the pan where you have all of that chicken fat that is now in the bottom of your pan. There's great flavor in that, and it'll caramelize our potatoes and turn them golden brown. And after a few minutes, you'll see they'll look really beautiful. They'll have some great color on them, and you can scoop them out and put them in a bowl. And then we're gonna keep that chicken fat at the bottom because this is gonna become the basis of our sauce. So you're gonna add two tablespoons of flour and whisk that together. And then once you've got that paste forming, cook it for about a minute just to kind of cook that flour flavor out of it. And then you slowly wanna add your sauce. See, and aren't you happy that you had this all pre-measured? Because it's really easy now. And then you wanna just keep whisking and keep this on a pretty high flame until you start to see it like boiling around the edges because you need a pretty high heat to activate that flour, which is then going to thicken your sauce. And I would even take it a little bit further than the thickness you want. Because once we put our chicken in there and it sits in the oven for 40 minutes, the chicken will start to release its juices and thin out the sauce a bit. So it's good to kind of take it maybe a little bit thicker than you'd like it because it will thin out once it starts to roast. And then the final step is to add two cloves of minced garlic and anywhere from four to five sprigs of fresh thyme. And then this is going to create a beautiful sauce for our chicken. Then we're gonna add back in our potatoes and you can just create a nice little layer of them on the bottom there. And then you're gonna place your chicken on top. And I don't like to put any sauce on the chicken at this point because I do like that chicken skin to remain nice and crispy. So they can just rest on top like that. And then you're gonna cover and place in a 325 degree oven for 40 minutes. And then once it's done, you can remove the lid and then moments before serving, I like to spoon a little bit of the sauce over the chicken. And then you can portion out about two pieces of chicken per person. Put some of those potatoes on the side. I'm a big fan of Sunday night dinners because I find that it really resets the family for a great week ahead. Even if you're only cooking one time a week, make it on Sunday when everybody's a little bit more relaxed, can sit down at the table and really enjoy each other's company. All right, you guys, I will see you back here next time. Until then, bye.